I have a column where I have company names, their industry and sector. I can see if it's sector based on alignment from the left. So in case it's on the left, then it's a sector. If it's one space from the left, then it's industry. If it's two spaces from the left, then it's company. So this space from the left is indent and we have these two icons here. So if there is no indent or zero indent, it's on the left. If I click on this icon, it will add one indent. So in case it's here, the indent is two. You can see it in the format cells when you are in alignment and your left indent is two. Now I would like to change this one column table into standard table with three columns where I will have company, or industry and sector. So how can I do it? For that, I will need to create one new function because standard Excel functions don't have it. So I will go to Visual Basic or I can press Alt F11. I will click on my sheet, add module, and I will put there public function code, which will be named indent level. And I will add their reference to some specific cell and it will give me back indent level of that cell. So that's it. We have our function ready. We can try it. So indent level appears here. If I click on this cell, close the bracket, it will tell me that indent is zero. Here is indent one and here is indent two. So if I want here in this sector uh, only cells with indent zero, I will just change this function and we'll start if this indent is equal to zero, then give me this cell value. Otherwise, let's put there cell that is above. With this way, I have a list of sectors based on their indents. Then if I move to industry, I can use basically the same function. So I can just copy it here, change indent from zero to one. But now I need to move it to one cell above. Now, in case there is no industry mentioned, then I want this cell to be blank. So I will add one more if. And if indent level of this cell is less than one, then leave it blank. Otherwise, put there industry. Okay. So now my industry column is ready and I can do same thing here for company. Just change it to two and two. Just copy it down. I will go to the end of the list. And now I can simply go to data filter exclude all those blank cells and now I will have my table ready so I have sector industry for each company and that's it I hope you like it